We'll guide you through how to use shaders with Forge. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This essentially means we can go and play with shaders and mods. Here we are on the desktop. What you need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. To go and get started, we need to head to a site called Optifine. Go and search for it. And what you need to do is come to optifine.net. At the top, you can go and press downloads, go down and press show all versions. Now, what you need to do is then go and open up another tab. What we next need to do is go and search for CurseForge. CurseForge is a site we can get mods from. So what we can do is go and start getting some different mods for Minecraft that you want to go and play with. So we'll select Minecraft, press browse all, and we can then go and filter for mods. Or then come and get just enough items, let's say. You may already have mods, it doesn't matter. We can press files at the top. What we need to do is make sure we get it for Forge. So in this case, we'll go and get this for 1.21.1. .1. We can come to the right, press the three dots and press download file like so. That's now gone and downloaded. You can get other mods, just make sure you get them for 1.21.1 .1, whatever version you got it for. Then what we need to do is return to Optifine. Now that we know the version of the mod we got, we can go and get the version for Optifine, which is 1.21.1. .1. Also just note down this Forge version. We can highlight it and copy that as we're gonna need it. Then what we can do is go and press download with Optifine. You're gonna get taken to an ad wall here. Just be aware if you see a download button is for the ad. To go and start downloading Optifine, you need to go and press skip in the top right, like so. Now wait for the download page and we can press download. Now what we need to do is go and get Forge. Go and search for Forge like so. You may need to add Minecraft to find the right sites. And here we are on minecraftforge.net. Now come to the left and we need to get it for the same version. As I said, I got it for 1.21.1, .1. that may be different for you. Press show versions. Now, as I said, we went and copied that number from Optifine. So we need 52016. So what we can then do is go and scroll down here and go and find it. It's quite far back, but here it is. Then we can come to the right and press installer. Go to the top right and then you can go and press skip and it will go and download. Before we start the install process, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, check out the link down below in the pinned comment and in the description. At the moment, you can get a discount. They're definitely worth checking out. If we go and scroll down, we can start checking out some of their great features. For example, one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency, instant setup, and so much more. So if you're interested, check them out down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Last of all, return to curseforge.com and you can select Minecraft and press browse all. And we need to get a shader pack. You can browse by shaders. I really like the complementary shaders. So I'll go and get this top one here. You can then go through it and we'll press files at the top here. And then what we can do is go and get it for the version. I got it for 1.21.1. .1. Press the three dots and press download file. You need to go and open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. First of all, we need to install Forge. So double click on it like so, and it should go and open up. We can go and select install clients and press OK. If you find that it won't open or something else opens, it's because you need Java. So you can come back to your web browser like so. Go and search for Java or go straight to java.com, download it and install it like any other app. Then what you can do is right click on Forge, hover over open with and press choose another app, select Java and press always. And it will then go and run and you can install it. Go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the top and press installations. Scroll down and we need to go and find Forge just here. Hover over it and press open installations folder to the right. Then what you need to do is go and scroll down like so and go and find the mods folder. Come into it. If there isn't one here, you can make one. Make sure there are not mods from other versions in here. Then what you need to do is go and open up your file explorer. We can then go and drag in Optifine like so. And you also need to go and add in any mods you got. So I got JEI. Then you can hover over Forge and press play to the right. Here we are. Go and pause the game and press options and video settings. You see Optifine in the bottom left and press shaders to open up shaders here. Go to the bottom left and press shaders folder. Now what we need to do is come back to our downloads and what you need to do is go and drag and drop in this shader pack. Like so, it'll then appear here. You can then go and double click on it and it should then go and reload. As you can see, we can then go and see the different lighting effects and shadows. I think they're really cool. 